How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the first episode of a new series. <laughs> this is Stardew Valley, and I have been addicted to this game for so long. <laughs> I've been playing nonstop for the past few days. It's a farming simulator that actually just recently came out. It's available on Steam for uh, about $15. <laughs> I really recommend it. I'm just going to, I'm laughing because it's really funny uh, that I'm playing this now as a Let's Play because I'm already so far in the game. So starting a new file is going to be pretty weird. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I expect to, you know, go pretty far with this series. Uh, but this is only kind of phase two. You guys know how it goes. I play a game, and you guys let me know if you want me to keep playing it or not. We did it with Starbound, and we're going to do it with this. So I actually recently live-streamed it, and people voted yes, saying they would like me to do a Let's Play. But now, I want you to let me know in the comments below, or by giving me a thumbs up, whether or not you would like me to continue on with this series. So this is Episode 1, The Trial Episode. So let's go ahead and get straight on into it. Uh, we're going to create a new file here. Hopefully this doesn't delete my previous file. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do all this and I'll be right back when I'm done. All right, so we are now in Stardew Valley. I've created my character, I've gone through the intro. Trust me, you guys aren't missing much with the intro. It's basically just explaining the story. Uh, essentially, uh, the grandfather that owns this place unfortunately passes away and passes along the deed to me. And uh, after being tired of working in a cubicle, I've gone ahead and taken up the offer, and I'm now going to be working on this farm. So I've got some parsnip seeds. These are going to be what we first grow, essentially. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Brought to you by Mayor Lewis. Oh, look. It's given us a little, little tidbit of information here. I'm going to organize this because right now I'm not a big fan of... I've got to do it like Minecraft way. There we go. And obviously a sword goes in that first spot. But we don't have a sword. So we have to clear out our own farm. What a bummer. But it's not a big deal. Oh, uh, there we go. That's what we use for that. This grass is unneeded right now. But yes, so this game is essentially a crossover between Harvest Moon and Animal Crossing. Very good games, both of them. And this game on its own... Man, I've had so much fun with it, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy it, too. Uh, it's going to be pretty fun. Hopefully. Anyways, hopefully you enjoy it as much as I do. If you don't, well, I'm sorry, but I'm sure there's some of you out there who will. Uh, but essentially, we've got to get started here by cutting down some things and getting things done. I'm going to run out of energy really soon, though, so I've got to be careful. Uh, but a lot of stuff is probably going to happen here in a moment in terms of introduction. Um, I know we've got to meet a lot of people. There's a lot of, like, quests that we have to do, but I think I'll do it kind of right. Now that I kind of know how to play the game, I think we'll be able to kind of make way and uh, have a good place. Be able to make good progression at good paces. So on the bottom left, if you look over here, there's a little energy bar. So you actually have to keep that in mind while you're working and playing, because if you run out of energy, you'll get really exhausted and can t potentially pass out. When you pass out, people can actually steal stuff from you. They can take money from you, your objects, like the items, all that kind of stuff. So you always want to stay on top of that. And to do so, you basically just need to eat. Simply enough, whenever you eat, it fills up your energy bar. So this game is actually suggested to me by King Maskey, as you guys I'm sure know. Very good friend of mine. And I'm very happy he did. I had no idea this game existed before then. I told me about it like around the time it came out, and I just got around to doing it, and I think you guys are just really going to enjoy it. Oh no, our axe is not strong enough to break this stone. So that actually introduces the fact that you can actually upgrade your tools, which is really cool. So there's the basics, uh, coal, iron, or coal, copper, iron, gold, and then a few other after that. I have not gotten to those yet though, uh, but we're going to go into town and try and see... Uh, if we're gonna meet anybody. I actually think I may have skipped over the intro now that I think about it. Uh, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I started. Let's go ahead and meet person number one. Hi! Do you have anything else to say? Oh, did you want something? Well, thank you, Penny. Thank you for you know, providing me attention. So I'm gonna go over here. Oh, Mayor Lewis! How's it going, my friend? 
So how was your first night in the old cottage? Uh, your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. Uh, are you still wanting to talk? No, okay. <laughs> Pardon my rushing. I'm just trying to get a few things set up here for the first day. So this is the beach, and I'm fairly certain we are about to get our fishing rod. This is kind of kicking off uh, the start here. I may be wrong. Yep, I'm wrong. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Okay. So I guess after the first day is when we're able to get that. Uh, but like I said, I've been playing this so much, so there's a lot going on uh, that I'm not necessarily remembering. <laughs> this is the very beginning, so there's a lot of stuff that we've got to cover before we can really just get down to business. I don't know if people are just not in town. So I'm going to meet 28 people. Here, we'll read those from the start. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow, sow? Sow, sow, a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. So that's what we're gonna do with those parsnip seeds. But first, I'm gonna head over here, which is the blacksmith. And I may be wrong, but I should be able to get a, uh, Never mind. Oh no, I bought something. Well, there goes a little bit of my, uh, my money already. We've got some coal. I'm not complaining though. We're definitely gonna need coal. I think I can get by, even though I've spent a little bit of money. You know, I'm actually not sure if we really needed to come into town in the first place. I don't think there's much we can really do. Um, I'm just kind of exploring, you know, getting getting our grasp in the town. What's up, dude? Super Saiyan hair. Hi, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Sam. There's a lot of cool people, but a lot of mean people as well in this game. Uh, okay, what birthdays are this month? Uh, okay, good to know. And there's that, like, quest, or these little festivals, and cool stuff happens. Uh, this is a cool store. We're actually going to be in here a lot. I'm just going around trying to meet as many people as I can. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into the old farm. You are correct. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. It's trespassing. Hooray! Ah, <laughs> uh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Nice to meet you, Barney. <laughs> I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, and this is essentially where we can buy everything. So, welcome to Pierre's. Need some supplies? Uh, eventually, Pierre, but right now I think we're good. I might actually buy five more of these. Oh, no. About a little bit more than I needed. I'll just sell that. There we go. Alright. So, I think we're going to head back to the farm and just kind of show you guys the process of starting a farm because the main goal here is essentially farming is this Lewis or no not Lewis Harvey okay it's a pleasure to meet you I'm Harvey the local doctor hi Harvey I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town it's regarding work or rewarding work okay good to know Harvey good to know in case I ever like sprain my knee or something or my ankle while working then we'll know what to do Ooh, there's a flower up here. I'm going to grab that. Maybe we'll give that to someone as a gift. I can't get it, apparently. Uh, we're going to try... I can't craft anything. I might as well throw some of this away. And we'll go ahead and pick up the standalion. All right. We can use that for later. Uh, I'll just throw that in. I don't have any chests. Hmm. Can I make any? I cannot. Oh, yes, I could. i just got to get enough materials. I'm going to go ahead. You know what? We don't even have to do that right now. Let's start by making a farm. So how do we do that? I remember seeing that we have to use a hoe to create a section of land that we can use. So I'm going to create a 5 uh, by 4 radius, or not radius, but a 5 by 4 area. That way we can go ahead and plant our parsnip seeds. And those will grow probably over the time of about 4 days. And as they grow, we'll be able to go and do other quests. So I'm going to go ahead and get these planted. Uh, essentially, you just lay them down like this. All over the place. And you have to make sure you water it with your watering can. This is probably the worst part about the game. The only bad thing, I'd say, is, is the tedious water placing every day. But you can advance. You can get, like, sprinklers and stuff. 
And I've actually just started doing that in my main world. So uh, we'll get there eventually. But for now, I can always just do this, you know, on my own time or speed it up each time we play. So you're not going to have to watch me water it each time. But once we kind of lose on liquid, we can just do that. And uh, I think that's actually all that we're going to be able to do today. I think we're going to go ahead and go to bed and see if we can't uh, wake up for the next day and go get a fishing rod, hopefully, and we'll be all good. So that's actually something I really like. In order to save the game, you have to sleep. You can sleep at any time of the day, including like right after you've woken up. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack's full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out it. Our affordable size 24 sized backpack. All right, uh, we can do that. We can't afford it right now. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come by down to, or wait, come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. All right, so Willie, our main man, he's got a fishing rod for us, and we're gonna go grab that and uh, kind of introduce fishing into the game. It's actually really cool. There's so many cool things about this game. You guys, I think, are gonna really enjoy it. Uh, hopefully as much as I do anyways. And if you do enjoy it, I will certainly enjoy recording it and uploading it for you guys. Because it's it's a very easy game to commentate over. Uh, there's a lot to do. And it's just kind of one of those relaxing, slow-paced games that I think a certain amount of people will enjoy. There's going to be some of you that hate it, though. I am going to go ahead and say that. Uh, Ashley actually does not like this game. She says it's... It looks boring, <laughs> but I can assure you it's not. So we're going to run over down to the beach and pick up our fishing rod. Kind of a spoiler, because he didn't necessarily say what he had for me, but I mean, it's kind of obvious. We're going down to a fishing dock on the beach from a guy, or to meet a guy who just got back from a fishing trip. And here we go. It's a little cutscene. Now these aren't often, this is just kind of the start of the game, so it's kind of, you know, obvious uh, of why we're still seeing them. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Well, hi, Willie. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Well, groovy, man. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Totally, man. Well, probably sell stuff, honestly. But, yeah, you've received a bamboo pole. Oh, he looks mad now. <laughs> There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. That's good. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll always buy anything you catch, or I'll also buy anything. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyways. Great wording, Willie. <laughs> and he's smoking away on his pipe. I think that's the end of the cutscene. I'm going to go ahead and skip that. That way we don't have to wait as it paces around. But now we have a fishing pole, and it's actually a really cool mechanic for fishing. Let me see if I can't show you guys. Hopefully we can catch a fish relatively soon. This actually took me a moment to kind of grasp onto, but it's actually a lot easier than you might think. It's really confusing. It kind of lacks, like, introduction, or instruction, rather. Uh, but basically, whenever you get that notification, uh, you want to just hold this bar right on top of the fish and just hold it there. Basically, make sure the green bar stays where the fish is, and you can do that by clicking. And we got our first fish. So now I actually have to throw something away. We'll throw away these mixed seeds. I don't really need them. And now the cool thing, even though he's not really in his shop. Oh, it's not open yet. That makes sense. Okay. Basically, with that, we can either eat the fish or sell it. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with fishing. But I don't really have time to do those right now. We've got a lot to do. Or at least I think. I think we may actually be close to done. I might need to go ahead and throw these plant fiber away. Although I could sell them. But whatever. I can get them anytime I need and sell them. They're probably not even that much anyways. So I may be wrong, but we might... Ah, still closed. Every store opens at 9, so there's always that period of waiting. But it's also a good time to get your daily chores done, so kind of makes sense. And open now. It'd be kind of cool if there was like a, a chicken noise. Uh, shop. 
Still nothing. I forgot how to get the sword. I don't think we can get it yet. That may be the case. Or maybe... I don't know. I totally forgot, though. It'll show up eventually. I know I wasn't looking for it whenever I first played. I think it comes around whenever you first go to the mines, so... That'll happen very soon. What's up, kid? Gotta meet 28 people. Oh, hi, stranger. My name's... Oh, a stranger. That's what he said. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna rummage through these garbage cans, even though you just said I seem like an okay guy. Now, just a tip. You can always find random little knickknacks within the garbage cans, so always go check those out. I'm giving you tips to go explore the garbage can. Uh... Whatever, though. You can find a lot of cool stuff. You can find bread. You can find other types of food and all that cool stuff. Uh, but anyways, let's see how our farm's doing. I think uh, it's not going to really grow. It grows daily, so I think we're all good. I think I'll probably uh, go ahead and sleep now. I'm going to throw this fish in there. And we're going to keep the flowers because it's always a good idea to do that. And I think we're going to end it off here in a minute by cutting down some trees. So we're going to sleep for the night and see if there's any presents or anything like that waiting for us. But as you can see, I threw that fish in the bucket, and it's given me 30 gold for it. So what this is is our shipment container. Basically, Mayor Lewis comes by every day, or, well, every morning, or over the night, essentially, and picks up whatever is in there and will pay for it. Basically, like, you're selling it to the shops of the town. It's just an easy way to do it. And as you can see, it's actually raining, so I don't have to water the plants. It's actually really cool. I love it when it rains. It's really soothing, especially when it's a thunderstorm. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get shopping here. I think I'm going to end it off. Uh, I'm just going to collect some resources. I don't want the episodes to be too long. But if you enjoyed, please, please let me know. I'd love to keep playing this game for you guys, and I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, but that's all for today. Please make sure to <laughs> let me know in the comments. I know I said that already, but it's really important that you let me know if you like it. Uh, I think you will. It's it's definitely a game that I could see me playing for quite a bit of time. And not too many people are playing it, so... And it's relatively new, so I think you guys can kind of get a kick out of it. And who knows, maybe I'll do a giveaway of the game one day. One day soon. Uh, but anyways, my name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone.